Good morning. I'm going to show you how to log into your national uh, registry EMT for managing your continuing education. So if you don't already know, you can just type in RNEMT into your uh, browser and pull that up here. And then you go over here to the login page, click login. And then, of course, if you don't have an account, you can create one. I, of course, have one. And I log in. Okay, so then it, it opens up to your uh, your dashboard. And I fairly recently have updated my profile where I'll have uh, my information. And I'm going to go to my to recertify. And as you can see, I'm going to click here at Manage Education. And then what I've gone in and done is entered in all my classes with corresponding hours. So I took the two-day ACLS class, which is 12 hours. So I put six hours as mandatory and six hours as flexible. So I split it up. And then CPR is four hours. So again, I did two and two. For medical emergencies, I took the full day or full two day class since I put eight hours as mandatory medical and eight hours as flexible. Same with trauma, EPC, same thing. And then operational tasks, I used uh, my uh, uh, all hands that we, that we did recently. So then when I go back up here, I can hide the details. And as you can see, that gave me my 48 hours complete. So now all I have to do is my remaining 24 hours. And actually, I have nine of those 24 hours. So I started entering uh, my uh, hazmat and bloodborne. And then I also entered in the three hours that it took to watch the 2017 protocol updates and video quiz. Now, and then of course I'm going to update my active that. I entered in my CPR, expiration, and ACLS. So now I want to go back up here and I want to add a class to continuing education. And so I don't have any other formal class, I don't believe. I'm just going to review the list and see if I have any ideas. I also keep a file of my of my continuing education, so I usually go through that. But I don't have anything, so I'm going to leave it other. And then um, I'm going to enter in EMS World Expo. And, and I'm going to go and just start entering in uh, titles of the, the uh, conferences that I went to. This is just the title of one. Here that would give the title of it. it was R to respond to wake up stroke. And that was only a half hour. So half hour. 
and the instruction method was, let's see. And the date completed was ten five two thousand six. Say of course. Oops. And now if you saw I forgot to change the Metro West piece. So I'm gonna go back here and edit. Change the class sponsor as um, EMS or EMS World Expo. And then hit C, of course. And a little bit further here. So now. Let's add one of the other courses that I went to. Uh, I'll go here again. Other EMS on Expo. And it was a LVAD, or they called it VAD course. And then in the description, I'll call it Medical Emergencies. In patients with trickular assist devices. And then the number of hours, this was 1.25. One, two, five. And the lecture date completed was. 10-5-2016. The class sponsor again was EMS World Expo. And save course. <clears throat> okay, we're moving right along. So next, um, Another course here from EMS World Expo. This is where it really benefits you to go to some of these conferences because you really knock out a lot of CE. And this one is And that was one hour. And the instruction method of lecture date completed was ten six sixteen. And it was this world expo. And let's see, there's another one on that class. Yeah, it's in this world. Expo. 
Move. Salt water. Description. Salt water. What? Let's see, one point two five hours. Instruction for Phillips lecture and the date completed was ten six. Six two thousand sixteen. Sponsor was Inglass World. So you can see this is how you Go in and fill out your your education, and then because I'm already I affiliated myself with Metro West Ambulance in my general info, or right over here um, as training officer, I can go back over here and approve affiliations and any recertification packets that come in. And so I usually will do this after, after uh, I check off your, um, your skills. And then, and so everybody that's Affiliated or entered in their affiliation is all listed, listed here, and then I can go through and and uh, get y'all checked off. Okay, uh, I hope I provided you with some uh, information on how better to prepare for our national registry, and then um, I'll do a similar for the state. Thanks.